Welcome to Kingdom Nation Ministries. So the Bible said to us in the book of Numbers, what did the Bible say? The Bible said that when the false prophet wanted to curse the Israelites, the Lord spoke to him and he said, you cannot curse what God has. You cannot curse what God has. You cannot curse what God has blessed. So we pronounce a blessing today that every curse, every spell, every conjuring may be overridden by the blessing of God. Amen. We speak a blessing over your life and we speak a blessing over your marriage and we speak a blessing over your future. We speak a blessing, a blessing that overrides curses, a blessing that overrides every negative word, a blessing that overrides everything that has been spoken against you. We cancel, we replace with the blessing. Amen. We replace with a blessing. Amen. It's not enough to cast out demons. Things need to be replaced. It's not enough. It's not enough for us to just stand here and say, we cast out, we cast out. Amen. There needs to be a displacement. There needs to be a replacement. One thing needs to exist. Blessing and honor can, can say, cannot coexist. You cannot be blessed and at the same time. You can't be. It's either you are blessed or you are cursed. So we have to replace every curse with a blessing so we need to do a benediction we do a benediction every sunday we do a benediction in our services benediction means to do as an official ceremony to bless to bless and what is to bless to bless is to speak good things and to bless is to give permission to prosper to give permission to succeed and to give permission for you to rise and to be better than you are and that's what we declare over your life Oh, in Jesus' name, we declare it that if there's anyone who's taken some money somewhere to some witch at the back of nowhere in Malawi against you, it will not prosper against you in Zimbabwe. It will not prosper against you in South Africa. It will not prosper. Whatever money is of divination that we're using, whatever cows that we're slaughtered, whatever they try to do, in Jesus' name, we come against those curses. We come against that sorcery. We cancel it and you replace with blessing blessing of fruitfulness blessing of multiplication blessing of increase blessing that your prayers will be answered bless that your blessed coming in bless your blessed going out and your things will come through and your hey, hey 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 your things will work out amen not for you not for your children oh not for your business you are blessed amen you are blessed and may your blessing cancel every curse may your when they go to witches, amen, may the witch say, how can I curse someone who has been? How can I curse someone who has been blessed? We are blessed. We are blessed. When we are bringing our tithes, we are blessed. When we are bringing our offerings, we are blessed. When we are coming to church, we are blessed. So how can they go to a witch? How can they go to a wizard? How could they go to some sorcery? How can they go and their things will prosper? When the Bible tells us in the book of Numbers that they tried to call Balaam and Balaam failed to curse because the people were blessed we are blessed amen we are blessed kingdom nation is blessed everyone who's here is blessed everyone who's a part of us oh we are blessed and our blessing of a right sorcery our blessing of a right every witchcraft our blessing of a right everything that was spoken in your presence in your absence everything that was done oh oh in jesus name thank you for watching for content like this and more, please visit KingdomNation.org or any of our social media pages. Be blessed.